What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming to you with another YouTube video. International, renowned, worldwide, syndicated. That's what it's all about. Crypto Muscle on the Crypto Muscle Network. Right? And uh, before I get to that, let's take a look at the market here. And oh, yeah, by the way, international, renowned, worldwide, syndicated. I know I already said that, but I'm saying it again. And also the fake lasers. That's what it's all about. The gimmicks. 15 minute, 2 second videos. 2 to 4 videos a day, 7 days a week. Who does that? Nobody. Come to you with another video. So. Hmm. Now let me let me refresh this here. Because, man, this market has been wild. Alright, look at that. Keeps, keeps on going under 40, over 40. Under 40, over 40, and there it is, right? Look at Ethereum, same thing. It kept on going over 3,000, under 3,000. Now it's just a tad over 3,000 again. And when you look at it, it, this is big increases here for, for these two. So, very interesting. Oh, look at that. BNB is kind of running a similar pattern here. Very interesting stuff here. Yeah, so now let's get to the subject at hand here. All right, I am FOMOing in on this excitement. All right, oh man, the AMA they had an AMA today with that dude, uh, experienced crypto. I remember that dude was eh, whatever back then, but I guess if you latch on to something like a drip network, it's going to bring you viewers and things like that. And... Man, despite that AMA, FOMO this. <laughs> I mean, come on. That AMA, what a difference a day makes, man. Either because it's experienced crypto 24-7 doing it, or it's just no one cares. And that people want to unload, Right? That's the question here. As we get closer and closer to that Thursday, will it be relaunched of the Animal Farm, or will it be a delay once again? Because every time a Thursday is rolled around, they kept on saying next Thursday, and then the next, then the next day they come back, and here we go again next Thursday. Oh, we still got to finish up testing and all that, and then here we go again next Thursday, and so. What got my attention today besides the AMA is uh, that, you know, I, I've seen some things out there in the space, right? And it made me think about things, right? We experience, well, not me, because I, I, I watched you guys experience the downfall of Splassive and, uh, Elephant money, right? Everybody was talking about this. Oh, man. Like I said, they're coming to my channel trying to talk about, hey, man, you should you should get into Splassive and Elephant money. Man, those are better than Drip, right? But the thing is, though, forks of Drip have fallen. And then I saw a Crypto Dom video yesterday and I introduced another new fork of Drip. I was like, wow, it's not, it's not going to be long before that one's going to fall, right? Because obviously forks of drip are exploitable now, exposable, exploitable. So to me, <laughs> I mean, the damage has already been done. I mean, why would I even want to consider going to any forks of drip, let alone drip itself now? Because, yeah. To give them credit, still holding pretty well, but even AMAs can't bring the price back up, right? Of this prelude to Animal Farm coming back. But the thing about it is, people have fear, uncertainty, and doubt about Animal Farm and about it coming back. That once it's back. <laughs> It's going to be a reckoning happening once again. And to me, it's going to kill two birds with one stone, all right? Because 
with that one stone that's going to completely obliterate Tiwi for good. All right, with his last thousand dollars that he has. And the other, well, it's going to be a big, huge drop in drip. And the question is, can drip recover from that? I mean, it's no secret that they're talking to, you know, the people behind drip are saying, come on, we, you know, we're, we're doing this, we're doing that. We're throwing out bonuses, you know, that way you guys could, to, you know, jump back into Animal Farm, you know, get it back going again. And the thing about it is, once these things happen, it's very risky to even double down and go back in harder. Are you guys crazy? That's insane because to me, again, the damage has been done. Why would I even consider doing that crap again, right? Like I just seen, uh, you know, that, that dummy Clover, all right? Man, you don't realize how much he's lost in this space and continues to lose. It's crazy. You know, and it's funny because, you know, he was talking about, you know, how great uh, elephant money was and all that. <laughs> Days before the downfall, right? And... The funny thing is, is that he truly believes, oh yeah, you know, he's taking the word from bank teller that it's going to be okay. And that, oh, and you know what he did? He went back and <laughs> threw some more BME into it. It's like, man, you must love losing. You know, it's funny. And the thing about it is too, is that the history of bank teller has told me to stay away from the stuff that he puts out there. As tempting as it can be sometimes, there's no way I would consider going into a bank teller themed deal. And I go, and I, like I said, I, I've talked about the history of that going back to the early, early days of bankroll when he first came out with those contracts, right? And one failure after another. Oh no, we got a new contract, right? But it wasn't a failure, right? It was just retired. Let's face it, it's failure. That's why I got retired. Right? But it's a nice way to put it. And like I said, I, I've I've applauded on how effortless he could throw out tons of contracts out there, but at the same time kill tons of contracts out there as well. And you know, it's like it's a double sided sword here, but something I would rather not be a part of. Right? So, that brings me to this, back to Drip. Alright, the dominoes are falling, and this is the last domino right now, that, to me, that animal farm will kill Drip. Well, it might, I don't know if it might kill it, but it would definitely seriously wound drip and the question is can drip come back that's the one thing that i ponder about as i watch all these things unfold and as the days get closer to this thursday now so yeah and that dummy clover is still thinking about drip and all that stuff but he wants to see and i and i can see his perspective because he sounds very calculated, but he's yet very slow. All right, because he's always, always slow to join things. And when he joins things, it's a lot of times at the end of things. And that's why he loses all the time besides his losable trades. And I don't know. I mean, what is there? What's the benefit of him? Because... He keeps losing in trading. He keeps losing on his picks. On what, you know, quote unquote, best places to do things in and all that good stuff in terms of making passive money. That's why he hasn't done videos in months, you know, and, and or and when he comes back now, obviously, he does it very sporadically because he, he's, he's <laughs> stuck on losing. That's the thing about it. But you guys don't get it. So, 
I might sound the bad guy when it comes to these sort of things, but this is proof right here in the making. And we've seen it all happen in front of us. So if there's a something that is coming, but you double down and get, and you throw in more into it, it's, it's like you're throwing gasoline into the fire to make the fire even bigger. So it just means you're just throwing your money away. So what's next? Well, we're going to see it happen before our eyes on this Thursday. And going back to forks a drip, knowing that they've all been falling and they're all exploitable or rug pulled, however you want to call it, right? And that next one that Don introduced will probably do the same because it's a fork. Brings me back to drip. All right, because if they are a source, <laughs> if they are exploitable and they're a fork of drip, well then, I mean, <laughs> drip is next, right? That's just what it comes down to. So, in the end, this thing will be the next one, and uh, not right away, but very close. And it's a matter of getting that money out now <laughs> because you won't see this price again right this $30 range and then when you guys cry later oh man I could have sold at this price coulda woulda shoulda right coulda woulda shoulda and uh oh well right and then when the price continues to keep going down and down and down, and people are looking at it, it's going to cause even a bigger panic. And they're going to really dump hard because that fear, uncertainty, and doubt kicks in even more. And then they're, gonna, they're just going to unload it all to Forex and to the end of drip. You know what, though? It's had a good run, but time is up. So, you know, it's just unfortunate that Animal Farm sucked. And it was terrible contract. That's why it only lasted four days. You know, you, you did all these things to lead to it, the Manor Farm and things, all this stuff, right? Which was fine. But then when it got exposed, its weakness... If Animal Farm ran fine, we wouldn't be in this conversation right now and this content of all this happening, right? Yeah, so what? All those other ones were exploited and failed, but man, shit, Drip is still going fine. Animal Farm is going like, booming like crazy. And, um, you know, we wouldn't even ha have this sort of content going on right now, right? Having this discussion, debate. But because of this pause, because of this control, because of this centralization that's, you know, supposedly on a decentralized application, it's centralized because you put a pause to it, it's not running freely, then uh, to me, <laughs> the pieces are in place, it's all in play, it's over. And so, but you guys have to see it, all right, I know. Because you guys don't want to take my word for it. That's fine. And so, you guys are going to have to just see it happen. And then realize that, oh shit. He's been saying it all along. Ever since Animal Farm closed the contract. Alright. This didn't even come into the, my window of discussion. Up until that Animal Farm got paused. So... Just food for thought to think about. Pigs are going to the slaughterhouse. The crushing of Tiwi once again. Rebury down under. Get it? Because he's in Australia. Down under. Oh, man. Two birds with one stone happening. Can't wait to see it all. Tell me what you think about that. Comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one.